you think about when you're playing a game, you're making a decision about, well, which move do I make? And um, while as humans, we don't very explicitly say, well, um, from this position, I could go to these three places. And then after that, I could go to these, you know, six places each after that. And, and we don't play every decision out like that, but you do think ahead. And, and we know that from neuroscience that when we have a decision to make, we kind of play scenarios out and in our head and the scenarios in, in computer science and in mathematics that we're talking about, those scenarios can be um, described as a tree structure. So I go from one point to the next point, and then after that I have a bunch of different points that I consider after that, and that's, that's, a, that's a tree structure, right? So that's the first problem is how, how many branches do you have in your tree? And that's, uh, it's significant in Go. So in, uh, in uh, chess you have on the order of, I, I think it's about 35 moves that you can make from each position. And then remember the next layer after that, each of those positions have 35. And in Go, it's uh, over 200, it's 270 something. So it's huge. It's a huge number um, of uh, different options that you have. So what they did that was interesting is the first thing they did was they built a neural net to decide which of those um, next moves are good next moves. So um, they actually fed it a whole bunch of games for um, people, you know, from human games, and they could predict the next human move 57% of the time by looking at 30 million different moves in games. It's called a Monte Carlo tree search, and it's basically just saying, um, you know, I'm going to randomly pick a, a path in the tree, and I'm going to go all the way down and see if I can win from that. And when I win from that, I basically give that path a dollar each time. So Monte Carlo, I'm betting, I'm raising the averages, right? And so um, what happens with the Monte Carlo tree search, this tree is way too big to search. And so what you do is you start rewarding paths that are good, that evaluate to be good. What's interesting is, it allowed the computer to teach itself basically what moves were in the game. Um, which, you know, we as human are, um, we discover that by talking with other people, by reading the rules, um, and a computer doesn't know how to interpret the rules, so we need to give it a way to teach it and understand, well, what are possible moves that I could make that would, and then evaluate and say, for a good game. It's evaluating with every move, what's the position of the board right now? So with this position of the board, what are the, all the possible moves I can make are, you know, over 250, but then what are the moves that any human would make is dramatically less than that. And that's what helps them improve their tree search.